All right, today we're going to be looking at our must-haves for our RV kitchen when we hit the road in about a year and a half to two years. These aren't everybody's must-haves, but these are what we feel we're going to need when we start living RV life full-time. In this video, we're going to be talking about the must-have items for our kitchen when we hit the road in about a year and a half to two years. Now we've been watching a lot of videos and we've seen these items over and over again, either in the backgrounds or people talking about them as must-haves for their RV living. We'd like to know from you if we picked up items you feel like are a waste, if we shouldn't have gotten them, or We'd also like to hear from you if there's an item that we've missed that you feel is essential for your kitchen when you're living full time in your RV. So the very first thing we feel we're gonna need for our RV kitchen is a pizza stove. Now it's not for cooking pizzas. It's actually to help with the heat distribution in the RV oven. If you know anything about RV ovens, they are notorious for having very poor heat distribution. Let me explain that. Let's say you put a rack of cookies in your oven to cook. You'll find that some of the cookies on one side might be burned, while the cookies on the other side might be raw, and only the cookies in the middle will actually be done properly. That's because of poor heat distribution. And that's why we're getting the pizza stone because we've heard that it helps with heat distribution in an RV oven. So if you're doing cooking in the RV, you're going to need some type of dishes to put the food on, right? So Nancy found these great looking dishes. They look ceramic. However, they're made out of malamine, which I believe is a, some type of plastic, but it's very durable, um, very lightweight. And in an RV, you need both of those things. You need things that can handle bouncing down the road, and you need stuff that is lightweight. And that is why we picked out these dishes for our RV kitchen. So we already have a Keurig for the home. But for the RV, we felt like we needed something that had a smaller footprint. So we went with this K Mini Plus. It's smaller, but it still allows you to do a variety of sizes of beverages, which we thought was neat. So we went ahead and picked this up for our RV kitchen. Nancy and I love a good salad with our dinner, and we found this collapsible salad spinner online. It is about the third of a size of a regular salad spinner. And there's a lot of other items that are collapsible too. Here is a collapsible colander. It's about a quarter of the size of a regular colander. Because we've decided to not have a dishwasher, we need a way to do our dishes that helps conserve water. And one way to do that is with a dish pan. And this is a collapsible dish pan. Once you've washed your dishes, you've got to have a place to dry them. And because counter space is a premium in an RV, you don't want to waste that space with a drying rack. This rack is designed to expand and collapse and will fit almost any RV kitchen sink. Even in our sticks and bricks, we struggle with space for pots and pans. This Magma 10-piece cooking set comes with a variety of sizes of pots and pans. Plus, it comes with two additional handles that can be attached to the pans to turn them into skillets. They're non-stick and they are the perfect solution for either your sticks and bricks or for your pots and pans in an RV. To protect our sinks, we've gotten these sink mats and they are perfect because they can be trimmed to fit any size sink. And many sinks in RVs are unusual shapes and sizes. Probably the number one tip we've gotten from a lot of videos is how to increase your storage space in your cabinets in your kitchen. And these racks are the way you do it. You're able to now store stuff above and below on these racks and actually almost double your storage space in your cabinets. 
And to keep our drawers and cabinets clean, we've picked up some liner uh, material that will go in the bottoms of the drawers and the cabinets. Another item you're going to need is these extension rods. And they go inside your cabinets to help hold items in place so that when you get to your destination and you open your cabinets, you don't have items falling out of the cabinets and hitting the floor and breaking. The next must have for our RV is the soda stream. And you might be thinking, that seems like a luxury item. Um, not really. It saves you on money and it saves you on storage space and on weight. If you think about if you go to Sam's Club and you pick up a couple of cases of canned soda, you're probably adding about 50 pounds of weight to your RV. At the same time, you now have to store those canned sodas somewhere. With a soda stream, you've reduced all that weight and all that storage space. When you're towing your RV down the road, what's going on in the RV is basically an earthquake that's happening for several hours. We picked up these stainless steel coffee mugs because when we get to our destination, we don't have to worry about these coffee mugs being broken. They will be in perfect shape, plus these coffee mugs will keep your beverages nice and hot or any cold beverage nice and cold. One of the tips we've learned from a lot of RVers is not to waste your propane. One of the ways you can do this is to not boil water on your cooktop. That's wasting a lot of propane. Instead, pick up something like this, a kettle, to heat up your water. You can use this to heat up nice quantities of water so that you can have soups and other items, but you're not wasting all that propane by bringing water to a boil. So another great way to conserve on propane is to pick up an induction cooking top. These induction cooking tops are incredible. They bring water to a boil quickly. You can cook all sorts of sauces, everything just like on a stove, but you have a little bit more control, which I like, by using this induction cooking top. Also, a tip, make sure that your cookware is compatible with an induction cooking top. And that's why we got the Magma cooking set, because it is compatible with an induction cooking top. The Instant Pot, what a fantastic device. I don't know a single full-time RVer that doesn't have one of these in their RVs. They are fantastic. One of the best things about them is almost everything goes into the pot. So you don't have a bunch of different pots and pans out. It just makes life simpler in the RV. And for Nancy and I, the great thing is, once we finished our meal, we've got tons of leftovers. Usually two or three more meals that we can freeze. And if we make a couple of Instant Pot meals during the week, we can actually have a ton of food in the freezer that when we don't feel like going through the drudgery of cooking, we can just pull it out, warm it up in the microwave, and we have a fantastic meal. Instant Pot, you've got to have one of these. Nancy picked up this little guy. He's a little fireman and he fits on top of the pressure relief valve. And you can turn it to point the steam in any direction you want. Instead of having it go straight up and hitting cabinets or even the ceiling, you can point it off to the side. It's a fantastic little device you gotta have. So earlier I went on and on about saving propane and here's why. I love cooking outside and I got this Blackstone griddle and you can cook everything on this. You can cook breakfast, you can cook lunch, you can cook dinner, you can stir fry on this thing. It is incredible. So I'm excited to get out and to use this Blackstone griddle. One of the first things I'm gonna need to do though is to season it. And that's gonna be our next video, is seasoning this Blackstone griddle. Before, they suggested you use flaxseed to season the griddle. However, now they've come out with a brand new product. It is their own product made specifically to season the griddle. And so my next episode for you guys is going to be how to season the Blackstone griddle. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button to let YouTube know so that they'll share our video with more people. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time we have a new video.